Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pro Mansion 2016. I am Sitarison, and we are not proper planning. Uh, we have a new season. We are in Astana. We leveled up in the last off season. Not a good level up, but still a level up nonetheless. Team is still called. Astana, we are preparing for Tour of Australia, Tour Down and Under. We are for once not racing the... What's it called? Cyanide Tour races. In fact, here's our schedule. Provi uh, provisorial. I think it's called. Uh, temporary. We start with Down Under, then we have uh, Mercia, which I'm not going to show on camera. And then we have Oman, which I am going to show on camera. Actually, I might show it, but I haven't decided yet. Just keeping it in, just to save points, really. I don't think I'll show it. You will see. If I do. It's four days, so I might as well show it, actually. And then we have Bianchi followed by Prisnis. And then we'll have Catalonia. Hopefully by that time we'll have points so I can go to the Giro. But for now, uh, let's see, Prisnis and March is basically going to be one crazy month for me. So let's do three there and just one here. Actually, let's do two. And two. That should do it. So, as I said, uh, Paris Nest, then Catalonia. Hopefully. Hopefully, getting. That much needed uh, win so that we can go to zero. Because I would prefer that to be my Grand Tour debut, debut instead of the Vuelta. But we'll see. We will see what happens. The most important goal for now is. Most important thing right now is, of course, just doing well in the Pro Tour races. I don't expect to do too well, but we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. It's going to be a monotonous day when it comes to the terrain, but at least the teams with sprinters won't be complaining. And, of course, those opportunists with a bit of daring won't make their life easy. Let's give breakaway a shot. Okay. Looks to be going well so far. And hopefully the jersey will be mine. This guy is not good at all, but it's better on me on the flats. So let's do 50. Actually, let's just do 70 up. Up the mountain. Don't need to do 70 anymore. Let's do 40 now, so that he can come up and help us keep the distance. Hopefully. So I have the climber jersey for the first time. Now let's see if we can keep that. And Parto Contador, Tom Bonin, Adam Hansen, lots of falling. Let's 
while we're trying to figure out the best pace for this duo. Basically riding a pace to try to keep the distance to the peloton. And honestly I do not care at all about the, the intermediate sprint so I don't mind letting him take them. And he's dropped. No surprise there. I am a strong climber, so hopefully I can keep the pace high enough on the flats and gain enough on the hills. I am gaining uphill, that's still good. But it's not enough, sadly. Nizolo, I think that was ahead of Cavendish. And here are the race highlights that we've selected for you. But hey, breakaway in Jersey experience. Almost level 16 because of the breakaway and Jersey. That's good. And I could get a good result here, but I think Jersey is more important actually. Also, I'm fourth overall, so I can't actually go into the break anyways. Valda has been even worse at climbing over the last year. So that's good for me, I guess. Hello and welcome. Today's terrain is fairly level, so it's ideal ground for those who are good on the flat. Um, I think I should just try to be at front for the climb here. Just to be ahead of the peloton. To try to secure my Columbus jersey. Apparently that I didn't care too much, so I got in the breakaway once again. But hey, I had 20 points. And I'm not going to ride particularly hard, so if they want to catch me, then they can catch me. Hey, bonus seconds is nice. If there is bonus seconds, that is. I'm not really riding hard at all, so... Because honestly, this was an attempt at getting the Columbus jersey grip. And getting a better grip at the Climbus jersey, not an attack on the Pelton. But we could make it an attack on the Pelton. It's not enough uphill for that to be possible, but no. 
not enough appeal for that to be possible. They're right behind me here. There we go, I'm reeled in. Ten kilometers remaining. No real surprise here. Um, some guy fell in the sprint. That's not good. And here are a few of the key moments. We had a guy close, but not close enough. Uh, cool brother, obviously our sprinter. Seventy-five hill. And I am um, shared time with these guys, and I have that one. Obviously, I have the youth jersey. Well, not obviously, but it's not a surprise. Okay, hilly stage. Um, I'm not on favorites list. No real surprise, to be honest. But I am fourth overall. I have the Columbus jersey. I have the youth jersey. And we are in a position where we could... With a bit of luck... Win overall, even though I do not think I am in a position to do that. I have the same time as the podium, and just not that good at wrapping it up, so that's that. But we'll see. Please make me leader outsider. It's an undulating route, so it will be a tactical race. Riding under such heat must be unbearable. I'm not going to work for you. I'm fourth of the world. I'm pretty sure I've done better on you, Cobrale. In all probability, it won't come to much, but who knows? The breakaway has now got over a minute on the pack. It's an attack! Yes, Cobrelli, why uh, why would I work for you? I've done better than you in every single competition so far. Uh, also, profile, that one, 16, huh? Power, Nus Musabal, Pajadron Hakeke, or something like that. No, none of those has, has any points. None of them got points. I mean, we can easily sit back and relax the for the st stage for now. Also, who's current world champion? No, Danskas. No, that's not world champion. Ala Felipe's. Protect the leader. Suck my ass, cunt. <laughs> that's a bit harsh to call him that. You're welcome. I'm staying in the peloton. That's because I am working for myself. Had you made me a free element, I wouldn't have had that attitude towards Cobrelli, but 
Considering that the, they made him the leader and me a teammate for him when I have when I am beating him in every single competition that we have so far. That's just sad. Also I need to move up in the Peloton. I'm way too far behind for this part of the stage. This is the last third of the race. The team leaders have their minds fixed on today's goal. Buhani is here, that's okay. This is a fin uh, fine position for now. Taking a bit of wind, but I don't really care. They are riding hard also. Usabal is a teammate, so I don't care if I lose the jersey to him, to be honest. Although I would prefer not to. I didn't realize that until just now, that he was a teammate. Because I was roughly 10 kilometers from the mountain sprint until finish line. Good to know. The finish line is getting close. The riders just passed the five kilometers road sign. Oh god, this is laggy. Hello game. What are we doing today? Why are you struggling so badly? There we go. The sprint is on. The riders are setting themselves up. Victory for third isn't bad. Bar grill. But seriously, um, why are you doing so poorly? Um, to open that. Performance. Okay, let's take a look at this one while we're doing. Result. Well, I don't expect to... No! Oh well, I still have the climb distressor. Level up! Nice! Yay, plus 2 heal. That's not correct, I had 72 as base before. Um, but, decent level up. Also, I had 79 as base before, so. Let's give it one day. I'm not going to do the race, I'm just getting the day so that the stats can be more accurate, hopefully. Back and to the left. 80, 74. This is better. Puts me at 60, 76, 67. 80, 74, 75. Okay, we're a second race climber now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.